So for a wall drop, you're going to need a slant board. You can purchase one of these online, just Google slant board. Uh, and there's many different options. This is a plastic one, which works fine. They have wooden ones, which are great too. Um, there are different levels. So if, you, if your calves and your Achilles tendon are not very flexible, you're going to have to go down to the bottom one, which is just barely more slanted than the floor. As you get more and more flexible, you can get all the way to the top. So let's demonstrate here today on the second from the top, which is usually what I find people start at, and then you can progress to the top from there. Um, you're going to put it so that it's slanted up from the wall. Also, if you don't have this, or if maybe you just ordered it and you're still waiting for it to come in, uh, get a 2x4 and a book. Have the book on the 2x4, and it'll create a little slant. You can manufacture something at home that kind of replicates this um, to get that calf stretch. So you're going to stand on it just like this. You're just going to let your body kind of settle in this position. So we're using the wall as our vertical marker to make sure we're standing up tall. Engage your quads just a little bit, just enough to pull your knees back and keep your legs straight. Your upper body now is going to be relaxed. Just kind of breathe. Let your arms drop here. If this is really, really tight on the calves, drop down a level if it's unbearable. If it's really easy, go up to the top level and try the top level. Now at first, if, you're, if your heels are up, like say for example your heels are up like this, that's not necessarily a bad thing. You can just kind of let gravity take you down. Eventually you'll be down just like this with your heels all the way down. Just hold this for the allotted amount of time, just stay relaxed and get that stretch. 